Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Call to Arms. Things look a little strange here in Call to Arms, but this seems to be what it'll look like at night. Night vision goggles. Yeah, the uh, NVG, the green uh, backgrounds that you usually see when tr soldiers are using uh, night vision goggles. And uh, we're going to play against the computer here uh, with the computer as well. Not a lot of people playing. Dead ass, though. Oh, shit. Anyway, we're gonna we're playing with hard AI on our side, and we're also playing against two hard AI players. So uh, we'll see exactly what happens here. Uh, we're gonna fight off the enemy and then ca start capturing the flags on the left. We need at least three to gain some sort of uh, an advantage here, and I don't know where the computer player is gonna go. So hopefully he tries to capture that flag over there. We at least need two to, two to start. He's already moving into the area, so we're gonna take the flag on the left. Anyway, I'm really liking this game, and by the way, we will have an interview up from Delta Dude, uh, who is uh, kind of one of the uh, community managers for the game, and uh, he's been asking if we could um, ask him some questions, or if we had any questions on it. Of course, I've got questions such as, um, will there be helicopters in the game, which seems to be yes, and then of course, how will they be used? Is it single player only? Is it multiplayer? Um, you know, much, much more. So uh, I'm almost level three as the Americans too, by the way, which means I'll be able to use Grenadier Squad soon, which should be a very powerful unit. Uh, we'll see exactly how that goes, but anyway, we're going to bring up another squad here and start pushing left. Enemy's going to start counterattacking soon. So uh, many other questions I have in this game. Uh, I, I'm assuming, uh, you know, I want to see some more weather effects. I want to be able to uh, choose the type of weather that I fight in as well. I'm wondering, will that affect the units? Uh, like, for instance, if, if it's raining, uh, does it actually affect their ability to see far? Which, it doesn't look like that seems to be the case in any Men of War game. Um, but, of course, it does um, limit your ability to see a little bit on the map, but not, not too much. So we're going to keep pushing up here and try to take this center flag now uh, from the enemy forces. So it's really interesting to see this. Uh, th this green screen that you're looking at, again, is uh, night vision. And uh, I'm wondering now that if they did this, if this is going to be a permanent thing or if this is just uh, something that they're testing out. Really interesting to see. Uh, definitely cool that they're trying new things out. Of course, there are, there's wildlife walking around. Of course, Men of War has always had wildlife, such as uh, cows and chickens, but it's interesting to see um, them bring different things into the game. So again, a very hot, intense firefight. This, this is what's great about this game, by the way, is that since it's not, you know, bolt-action rifles and such, uh, it almost sounds like there's a million men on the screen if you were playing Men of War, but this only has, uh, I've only got two squads here securing this center flag. So it looks like our computer friendly is uh, doing a good job, AI soldier hard. Um, and then we've got two against us as well. Hard is, hard is not so hard, but if you go up to heroic, uh, the computer just gets to spawn basically any units, as, as you may have seen in a battle against uh, me and Byron versus a couple of AI players, they just uh, spawn out four-star uh, units with any, basically any mix-up they want. So they're carrying like rifles, uh, fully automatic rifles, and uh, ACOG scopes, and machine guns, and sniper rifles and stuff, which they shouldn't have. Uh, looks like every flag in the game, by the way, has um, like a cache in the center that you can capture. And uh, looking on, I did notice that the last man standing game mode is uh, like combat. So there, uh, there's that. Looks like they're counterattacking on the right side again, so let's get some men over there. And we'll continue to hold the center and left. Uh, again, no vehicles yet. Uh, we've only got the M252. Uh, again, uh, support teams, AT teams, fire teams, sniper teams, and then, of course, marksman, uh, grenadier team, and uh, heavy sniper team. I'm wondering what the difference between the grenadier team and... Uh, oh, okay. All right, I see. So uh, level 3 gets us the Marines, and then level uh, 15 gets us the Grenadier team. So I really want to work up to that. So combat mode is going to be interesting to see. Of course, in Men of War, the combat mode was difficult because you really didn't receive any points at all whatsoever for um, for infantry kills. It was really vehicle only. Uh, you, you would kill an entire squad and maybe would receive a point or two. It wasn't set up to uh, fight infantry per se. But then again, to be completely accurate, infantry wasn't as important as tanks back in the day, and now vehicles are pretty much everywhere. You know, keeping a, a Tiger or a Panther or a, a Sherman alive was top priority over a squad. Um, so obviously losing that was a much more uh, negatively impacting event than losing a squad. So it looks like we've got all three areas. Again, this is the map Village, and there are very uh, few maps in the, ba in the Alpha, rather, but uh, I'm still liking it. Again, this night vision goggle thing is very interesting to see. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I kind of like it. Um, but of course, I want to be able to flip that on and off. That would be uh, really helpful 
uh, thing to kind of have it on for immers immersion purposes, but uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, we are playing as the U.S. Again, there's the GRM against us, and there, apparently there's just uh, guys wandering out in the open. I don't know why the computer is doing that. Got to stay behind cover. That's one thing you'll learn in this game, too, is that cover is extremely important. And uh, we're covering the right and the center. Computer's uh, got one guy on the left side and attacking the uh, left side as well. I'd like to get up to... Um, I really want to get up to having some of these Marines come out, but you got to be level... Uh, level uh, three for that you do gain more XP by the way if you play ranked battles at least that's the way it seems for the time being and they still seem to be sticking with that units locked by level um, situation that they had before I'm not sure if I really like that uh, units locked by level I, I don't know I want to be able to play with everything and just be able to lock unlock whatever whenever it doesn't very it, it doesn't seem fair if someone can call Marines out on you if it's your first time playing um, and, and you know that you want to call out Marines, but you just can't. I'm going to call out a... You know what? Let's call out a sniper when we get it. 130 points. This is going to be a very powerful unit. Uh-oh. Looks like they're moving into the center. Oh, boy. All right. There's a lot of them coming down. It looks like there's no cover whatsoever, so they're just uh, pinned out in the open. Oh, it's just militiamen, so they'll die easily. Bunch of guys and a uh, bunch of guys in Adidas uh, track pants and uh, hats. Pretty much all they got for equipment. Again, we have a sniper team and a heavy sniper team. The difference is uh, there's a 50 caliber sniper, which I believe can take out light vehicles and such, which is a pretty good thing. But then again, he's going to run out of ammo twice as fast. Right side looks like that's falling, so we can make an advance on that. As soon as these guys get picked off. Marksmen are extremely effective in, uh, you have your defense squad, but marksmen seem to be a better defense squad as they can just basically sit back and cover and just unload on the enemy. Looks like they've got some GRM assassins. These are actually some of the better um, GRM troops. You can hear they have sniper, or, or rather uh, silenced weapons. They might have a uh, sniper with them, I'm not sure, but it looks like they're carrying MP5s with uh, silencers. I can't actually get a good look at the weapon before they, like, disappear. Uh, no, uh. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not so good with guns, but it at least it sounds like it. You got that traditional silence noise. <laughs> These guys are actually pretty good. They've taken down a guy so far. But of course, if they move from cover, the uh, U.S. forces are just going to get them. Left side seems to be falling to the enemy. Reinforcements are coming to there. And we're losing troops in the center. Time to call out that sniper team. Oh shit, and they're taking... All right, looks like they're on the counterattack. This game seems to be really good with its uh, tit-for-tat system where, uh, you know, you attack and then the enemy counterattacks. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of locking down positions completely. Got it, sir. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to move over to this right side. We're going to snipe the hell out of the enemy first if they're not there, which they must be. We're going to move over there and toss some grenades if we can. Center is ours. Right side starting to fold a little bit. Left side, too. Right side's good again. All right, time to go over to the right and start causing some hell against these assassins. Let's bring up an assault squad. I do like, by the way, how they have different names for their uh, squads. You know, the GRM isn't exactly equivalent to the United States. They've got their own tactics, they'll have their own vehicles, and that really stands out a lot. And, of course, a lot of people are going to scream balance, balance, balance eventually, but... Um, that's that's good because eventually it will be able to be a little bit more balanced in the sense of like StarCraft. Uh, they'll be able to uh, do a lot more different things and not have to stick to any sort of uh, realism. You know, they, they have a little bit more leeway. So it looks like on the left we're starting to fold a little bit, but we'll push up here on the right side and that's fine. Again, that's kind of how it goes. You you attack where the enemy's not, and then they just counterattack and try to push you completely out of the area. Right, we're gonna come up this road here and see what we can do to flank that center. Oh, shit, another squad coming in. Hopefully they're not assassins again. Looks like they're just guards. Get some of our guys to heavier cover. Again, these uh, concrete barriers just seem to be absolutely everywhere. Oh, that's actually a river there. I thought that was a ditch. Alright, if they come any closer, they're going to get pinned down. It is nice how there is heavy cover in the center as well. You can just kind of... It's kind of cover for everybody. You can just take cover behind that large uh, barrier there and there's not real too much of a problem with it. Alright, center's starting to take some fire again. 
I want to get an MG team up. Fire team, as, as the game calls it. And it looks like we've uh, maxed out on our, uh, so, our uh, CP, so we can't call anything else out. Oh, shit. All right, we're starting to take hits in the middle. I like this. The back and forth is great. You can't... I mean, I have previously locked down sections of the map and not allowed the enemy to advance, but this seems to be a little different. Wow, that guy took a couple hits and just immediately was... Yeah, you gotta kill as many of them as you can. Holy shit. Okay, they're moving into the center. We gotta get out of here. Get out of there. Right, let's see if we can open fire on them from here. They're holding three of the flags. So they're getting the point income. Let's bring up an assault squad here first. Fire team's down. Now there's one guy left. If we move out on the right side, they're just going to take it over, so we're just going to stay put. Secure that as they try to push from the left side to the right. They are starting to kill a couple of our guys, though. But our sniper's fighting back. Alright, let's push up. Awesome sniper sound effect. I'm not sure what kind of sniper rifle he has. Let's uh, crawl up there. There we go. Let's see what he's got. Uh, I'm assuming it's the... Uh, let's see here. Sniper rifle is the uh, M24 SWS, I believe. Is that what that is? SWS, yes. And uh, from what I've heard, ammunition is bound to the weapon now, so uh, there, you don't have to actually carry ammo anymore. It's just the the weapon itself has an actual um, ammo limit, and in order to keep that weapon resupplied, you have to make sure you're moving to these assault zones in order to to continuously. Uh, replenish that weapon so you must always continuously be assaulting and doing what you must so all right looks like they're in the center and uh, we're gonna pop up here and eliminate these uh, tangos there we go he's tossing a nade I can't believe our guys wouldn't do that start fighting back against some of these guys damn it Alright, so the right side's been uh, wiped. No guys over there anymore. We're just going to have to have more numbers on the field in order to deal with their amount of infantry. I think there's some guys shooting at us from the right side. I can't. There we go. I was going to try to take cover there against the wall, but I, I can't. Alright, so uh, we're sniping them out of here. I'm going to push up a little bit. Let's start using some nades. Wow, a couple of our guys down immediately. Those must be heavier. Uh, past Darian squad leader. I don't, I don't. I'm not exactly sure what the hell that is. Let's get a guy though. To crawl over here. Uh, I think you can throw grenades a little further than you used to in Men of War. There, that guy. We'll go to hell. That seems to have a fully automatic shotgun here. Is that what he has? Let's see, I can't see. They must have a fully automatic shotgun. Definitely what it sounds like. Alright, we got friendlies coming over. Computer's moving his ass on this flag. That's good. We got three of the five flags that we need. And we're going to continue to... Uh, hold the position, let the computer move in there now. We'll hold the center. Man, taking fire from everywhere. Friendly's taking the left side, good. Friendly's taking the right side, good. We might actually have an entire map lockdown now. Computer's kicking ass. Good to see. We'll move up with them a little bit. That right side's probably going to get attacked next. That's where I'd be. Alright, we got more troops in the open up here. One thing I do like, by the way, is when you mark position, uh, it's a new new symbol. It's just more modernized. And uh, there are a lot of claims from what I've seen in previous videos to this being a reskin, which I can definitely see, but I don't completely agree with. 
Uh, a lot of mods have promoted uh, modern combat, and people have put in a lot of work in order to make the modern combat in the game. And uh, now there's something uh, for real, supported by the, the main uh, company, so that's really cool. And that means more modern ca uh, campaigns. There can be, uh, you know, it's a touchy subject, but you can do uh, more modern battlefields in the Middle East and, you know, ISIS versus whatever. Again, you can just change some of the flags and some of the uh, squad names and have some real simulated conflict. Of course, um, that's exactly what goes on in... Um, that's exactly what goes on in, in such games as Arma. You know, obviously, uh, not a lot of trouble going on in Japan, not a lot of trouble going on in Canada, so they're not simulating those battlefields. They're simulating the Middle East and elsewhere. So, all right, so it looks like they're attacking on the left side again. Uh, we're almost at our CP limit, which means we can't call out any more squads, So, but we can call out an M252. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll call that out to the right side and uh, offer a little bit of uh, fire support for the men over there. And... Uh, take up positions on this wall and see if we can open fire on these bastards. Now, our weapons seem to have a very good range, too, by the way. So, as you can see, we can engage anybody from pretty much... Uh, let's see. I think this is by meters the game measures in. So, 55 meters, 53 meters. So you can see, just from this position, we can cover that flag. And Men of War would have probably just been to about the other side of the riverbank. So, it's been increased a little bit. And it's really cool. Alright, so... We've got our mortar coming up. M252. Two man team. The uh, Op 4, the uh, GRM, I believe, get the same weapon. Well, not the same weapon, but they do get a mortar. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly as to what type of mortar that is. If I do call up engineers, I'd love to place down AP mines and such, but again, the game has had some difficulties with crashing. So, again, le capturing an area, mining the hell out of it, and then just leaving a few fighters behind and letting the enemy come back into a trap would be a huge, huge positive thing uh, in, in this. I mean, at least to keep your CP down. All right, here comes some mortars. Got a good kill there. Oh, there we go. So 1.3 XP, by the way, again, when you play the matchmaking, that, that number will change. I believe you receive 75% of the, uh, of it, uh, of the, uh, XP or whatever, however it's measured. You'll receive 100% of matchmaking. Alright, so left side is, uh, being captured by the enemy. Right side, we're gonna have to push back in there. Again, we don't have a lot of CP for that, so we can only, the best we can do is just pin them down and hope the enemy, or rather, our, our a friendly AI does move over to that position. Alright, so we're gonna cover this right side. See if we can get our sniper to open up on some of these guys. Pin them down, and if they pop their head up, the sniper can take it right off. And in the meantime, the mortar can do some work as to, uh, convincing them to leave. Here comes a convincing argument right now, and those two guys seem to have agreed. Alright, we're about to have a four-flag capture here, which will increase our uh, capture rate, by the way. And uh, again, the three game modes that I've seen so far. One thing I do want to see is front lines, but so far I've seen Last Man Standing, which is combat, and Domination, which is Assault Zones. So, um... Again, I, I do want to see front lines. To be able to hold a village, set up some defenses, and then have the enemy come at you it, is awesome. It, it both uh, It's accurate for both uh, U.S. forces and for the GRM, you know, when it comes to, like, modern combat. And, uh, yeah, so f the screen is kind of interesting to get used to, but if you think about it, it, it is kind of lazy. They don't have to do any night textures or any lights or anything like that, but it is really cool, very immersive, and it, it would be an interesting option to turn on and off, but to just have it uh, as ne as a uh, as a uh, uh, kind of like a black and white thing. That's kind of what this is. It's like doing it without any color. All right, so let's see. We've got our mortar here. Looks like a huge amount of force coming into the center. Let's go ahead and move that back. Oh my God! Looks like we killed an enemy vehicle. That's a big. That's a big point vehicle right there. But uh, no anim no vehicles yet, so you won't you won't be seeing much of that. Oh shit! Looks like we got a big last crazy uh, attack coming in now. There's a lot of them. Holy shit! That mortar's got to get over here double time. Where the hell is it? Oh, we can call out another one. Holy shit! Let's do that. Double double the mortar. We've just got a few uh, seconds left then until we cap that. Here comes our mortar. 
team is winning. We're almost there. That comes up, it seems, at 90 points. Uh, we can change the point rate, by the way, if we want to have it at, uh, you know, 10 or 1,000. Actually, I don't know what the limit is, but um, I guess that remains to be seen. All right, let's double team on the mortars. Oh, yeah. Nice. Huge explosions from those mortars. And we're just going back and forth on our options menu on the left side to, uh, or our, I don't know what you would call it, but our troop troop roster or what, whatever you want to call it. Whatever we have on the field, we can easily click from here so we can just have a, oh my god, we absolutely destroyed that building. Holy shit. That is awesome. That thing just went down in one shot. Yeah. So the enemy's not having a good day here today. Let's see if we can get our sniper team over here. Here they come. They're in ghillie suits, by the way, for both factions. And I don't think that adds to any of their stealth ability or anything. I don't think they have a stealth ability. They might. Actually, they might. They might actually have a stealth ability. But anyway, that's a good game. So, uh, anyway, until next time, look at that sniper. 14 kills right there and a couple of U.S. soldiers that were able to stay alive. Looks like the U.S. is going to clean up the rest of the mess. And I'll see you guys. Bye.